and activity one, sum of unit fractions. Um, before beginning, let's go ahead and review what a fraction is. A fraction is part of a whole. A fraction has a numerator, which are the pieces being considered. It has a denominator, number of pieces that make up one whole. In this example, you have one shaded, that's your numerator. And then there's four pieces that make up one whole, that make up the whole, that's your denominator. So one over four is your fraction. Okay, so now we'll be using three pattern blocks. We need three hexagons, and each hexagon represents one whole. So each of these hexagons represents one whole. We are going to go ahead and work with our first hexagon. I'm going to move it out of the way. So our first, our first hexagon represents one whole. I want us to cover this hole with two trapezoids. So I'm going to cover the hole with the trapezoid. So it takes two trapezoids to make this hole. So each trapezoid, guys, represents what part of the hole? Each trapezoid represents half of a hole, right? So it takes an equal part. Each trapezoid represents an equal part of the hole. So this one, let me go ahead, I'm going to trace it. If you want to draw a trapezoid on your paper, I mean a hexagon, and then we're going to draw the trapezoid. And we said that it takes two trapezoids to cover my hole. So one trapezoid is half, one over two, and the other trapezoid is one over two. Okay, now half is called the unit fraction because it names just one equal part of the whole. And the unit fraction has a numerator of one. So whenever we refer to unit fractions, we are referring to fractions with the numerator of one. Okay, so for this fraction, we could say that half plus half, one over two plus one over two equals, how many pieces do we have? Two. One plus one equals two. How many pieces make up my whole? Two pieces. Remember that when you're adding fractions, your if you have like denominators, your denominators are going to stay the same. And we know that two over two equals one whole. So again, this is called a unit fraction because it names one equal part of the whole. So in a unit fraction, your numerator, your top number, is a 1. Okay, we're, now we're going to cover our next hole. So here's another hole. We're going to cover it. Let's go ahead and trace it. So trace your hexagon. Remember that a hexagon has six sides. Okay, so draw your hexagon. And this hexagon represents one hole. We're going to cover this hole with three rhombi. So this is a rhombus, okay? We're going to cover it with three rhombi. There's three rhombi. So each rhombi, okay, each rhombi represents an equal part of the whole, right? So each of these represents an equal part of this one whole. So how many pieces did it take? It took three. So three is your denominator. And how would I name, what would I name this fraction? Well, this is just one piece out of three. So this is one equal piece, so that would be one third plus one third plus one third. Okay, so these name one equal part of this hexagon. And these are your thirds. So when you add these up, one plus one plus one equals three over, remember your denominator stays the same, three over three equals one whole. Now we're going to cover our next, oh, and then when you remove them, let's go ahead and draw them out.
and then we will label them just like we did our uh, trapezoids. We're going to label them with one third, one third, and one third. Okay, so our third hexagon, trace it again. We're going to trace the third hexagon. And this hexagon, we're going to cover it with triangles. So how many triangles do we need to cover this hexagon? Three, four, five, and six. So it takes six pieces to cover our hexagon. So it takes six equal pieces. So we know that our denominator is going to be six. So this first piece is one six plus one six plus one six plus one six. That's only five. One more. So that is that equals two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six over six or one whole. So again, each of these triangles represents an equal part of the whole. One six is called a unit fraction because it names one equal part of the whole. And remember that a unit fraction has a one as its numerator. So I'm gonna go ahead and do draw my triangle and label them one six, one six, Okay, so this is doing a sum of unit fractions. Sum of unit fractions. Sum of unit fractions. Okay, so now let's draw, let's go back to our models we just made and let's go ahead and draw a number line. So we're gonna draw a, a number line. And we're going to label it zero and one. And our and we're going to represent this fraction. We're going to represent one whole. And this represents one whole right here. And I'm going to break it up into two parts. So now I'm going to label this as one half. And another thing you can do when you are dealing with a number line and fractions is to draw a fraction bar above it. You can draw a fraction bar above it and then use the lines, the tick marks on your number line to make your bars, okay? So this would be one half plus one half. So you would go with One half plus one half equals one whole. For this next number line, you would break it up into parts. So again, I would go with zero and one. We're building one whole, and I'm going to break it up into three parts, three equal parts. So I'm going to make them as equal as I can. So this is one third and this is two thirds. Okay, so now remember what I said. Whenever you have a number line, a good thing to do is to draw a draw your fraction bars above it and use the tick marks that are here to make your pieces. So this is one third. plus another third, plus another third, equals one whole. So if you were doing your jumps, you would just present it. Going like that on this one, one third, plus one third, plus one third, equals one whole.
this last one. Draw your number line. Zero to one, and we're going to break it up into six. So I'm going to start here. Break it up into three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So that's one, six, two, six, sorry, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six, and then six, six is the same as one whole. So again, like I said, draw your, your fracture bars above it. You're going to use the tick marks from Use the tick marks from your number line to make your fraction pieces. And now let's go ahead and add. So you have one six plus 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 one six equals one whole. If I'm doing my jumps, I can do one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and six. Okay, now we're going to think about a different way, okay, a different way that we can show the sum of these fractions. Um, we're going to write a mathematical equation, okay, to represent the sum of each of the models that we just built um, with an addition sentence, okay, but it's not going to be using a sum of unit fractions. It's just going to be using fractions to get to the same, um, to get to the same answer, okay, to get to the same sum. So we're going to take out two uh, hexagons, and we're going to cover the first hexagon with one rhombus. So we're going to cover it with one rhombus. Okay, we're going to cover it with one rhombus. And the second one, we're going to cover it with two rhombi. So what fractional part is covered in this first model? How much is covered in this first model? One third. How much is covered in the second model? Two thirds, right? Two thirds. So we're going to go ahead and combine the blocks so that we can find the sum. So here, I'm going to go ahead and trace this. I'm going to trace both of, both of them. Okay, so I've drawn them out. And this is, again, what fractional piece is covered in this first model? We said it's one third. I'm going to go ahead and write that in there. And again, we're adding. Combining them. Here we have two thirds. So we have one third and one third. So we said we are combining them. So we're going to equal. Okay, so the, these are going to equal. So one third plus two thirds. So one third and the third equals two. So we combine them equals to. 3 over 3, or 1 whole. So we can write this out. We can write an equation to find the sum. So we can write 1 third plus 2 thirds equals 3 over 3, or 1 whole. OK, so now you will need um, sum of unit fractions, 1 page 1. We're going to use the pattern blocks to solve the problems below, then shade the fractions strip and use the number line to model each equation. So here we have our hexagon, and we are going to cover it with, we're going to use our six. And remember that our six were our triangles. So we need two six. So we're going to use, they might not be fit the whole thing. So one, two, three. Oh, sorry, two six. So that's two six plus three, six, one, two, three, equals what? One, two, three, four, five, five over. Remember that our denominator stays the same because it takes six pieces to cover up the whole thing. So five over six. Now we're gonna go ahead and write it on here. And we're gonna go ahead and label them three, okay? 
one six book. Here's your two six plus three six equals five six. So now we're going to do that on our number line. And they've already done the fraction bars below your number line. So we are going to add two six. And here's two six plus three six. One, two, three equals five, six. If I shade them in, I have two, six plus three, six. equals five six next model we have thirds our thirds are our run by so here's the run by so i'm going to go ahead and draw my run by my rumbus here's my rumbus okay here's the rumbus and it's one third plus one third equals two thirds one plus one equals two. Over, it takes three pieces to make my whole, so my denominator stays the same. If I do it on my number line, I have one third plus one third equals two thirds. In my fraction bars, I have one third plus one third equals two thirds. Two six triangles again. So let's break it up into six pieces. And we're doing two six. So let's label this one six plus one six. So these are two sixes plus another two six equals one, two, three, four. Four out of how many pieces does it take to make the whole? Six pieces. The denominator stays the same. Now let's do it on our number line. Two six plus two six one two equals four six on our fraction bars. We're going to shade in two six. Shade in another two six, and that equals two four six. And this half, so we you know we use a trapezoid. So one over two plus one over two equals two over two. So on our number line, we would do one over two plus one over two equals one. Our fraction bars, we have one over two or half plus another half equals one whole. 